Does anyone else just not understand the woohoo over watercolor pencils? Yeah, but the fact that I don't like them is annoying to me and I'm on a mission to fall in love with watercolor pencils. So today I'm trying a brand new brand that makes a ton of promises, some curious paper options, and a few out of the box techniques I'm hoping will help me feel the love. I found these uni watercolor pencils from St. Louis Art Supply and I was instantly intrigued. Apparently Mitsubishi's graphite pencils are the bomb.com and I was intrigued. The description says, with strong pressure and lots of water, you can make richly saturated areas. Oh my gosh, that for me was ding, 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 because my beef with watercolor pencils is they always just look scratchy and dry and they don't wet nicely and you don't get the big juicy areas. So let's get into this. I'm starting off with Arches Cold Press watercolor paper for my first experiment. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, Christy, cold press, all that texture, of course it won't work. Well, you know me, and if you're new here, hi, I'm Christy, the Creative Rebel. So I'm getting into this using the pencils to kind of draw with first, of course. That just feels right, seems to be my instinct here. I even spritz the paper like just ever so lightly, but it really doesn't seem to be making a difference. Texture of this paper is definitely holding on to so much pigment to the point that these almost feel waxy, and I know they're not waxy, so mm. I thought a ton of water could save me with this. I'm pressing so hard at this point, friends, that it's actually becoming uncomfortable. I know, I know, you told me so, but I'm gonna keep going just a little bit longer. I'm going into this knowing that Arch's cold press is one of the thirstiest papers on the market. So I set myself up for a huge challenge. I really thought the idea of pressing harder was going to get me through and really possibly create a cool result. But honestly, I mean, it's like an okay sketch, but the color just isn't moving. It just, yeah. So you were right, this paper is a non-starter for watercolor pencils. I don't know though, maybe an underpainting with brushes and traditional watercolors and then adding details with these pencils. Do you think that approach might work on cold press arches especially? Let me know in comments. Now, I did a paper review of all the 100% cotton papers in the land. Okay, maybe not all, but a whole bunch. I'm gonna link it below. And one of the things I found was New York Central cold press. And when I did the experiments in that review, one of the things I used was watercolor pencils. And I remember being so intrigued and kind of excited about the results I was getting. So of course I'm pulling out the New York Central. Now I'm gonna approach this a little bit differently. I am going to do a little bit of an underpainting after my sketch. That's what I'm doing here just to give myself a little bit more help with the like juicy and coverage department, if you know what I mean. There's definitely lots of texture still happening, but honestly, is texture a bad thing in watercolor? Like what is my problem with watercolor and texture? Maybe I just need to kind of get over it. I don't know, how do you feel? Do you feel like things are going in a better direction so far? Get the conversation started in comments because I'll tell you what friends, if you're new here, you need to know about the comment section on this channel. There's always so much good happening there. I feel like this is promising. The paper is making things feel just more fun in general. And speaking of fun, if you're having a good time and you're getting anything out of this video so far, would you go ahead and give it a boop? A boop is a like, friends, and a like really helps out my channel. All right, adding that extra pressure, just like the website described and promised, is definitely releasing the color beautifully, and that is a big yay for me. I mean, not for me, for the pencils, you know, but <laughs> moving on. But honestly, this combo, this paper, and these pencils don't have that juice factor that I'm after, but I will say this. These pencils are some of the most pigmented I have ever tried. Like not some of, they, they really, I think they're the most pigmented I've ever tried. And because of that fact, I still believe I can make this happen. I believe that I can fall in love with watercolor pencils. And because of that, I'm gonna try one more paper. But tell me friends, do you think it's a lost cause? Do you think that someone like me 
who's just struggled with loving watercolor pencils for most of her adult life is ever going to have a watercolor pencil epiphany. Let us know, you know where to go. Next up, this is the what. I just feel it, I feel it in my bones, I do. And I gotta be honest friends, the voiceover you're listening to right now was done before I tried this experiment. This part of the voiceover, I, I really have no idea if it's gonna work. So truly when I say I feel it in my bones, it's gonna work, I, I do. I have no idea, but let me, let me go and paint on Cotty watercolor paper with these pencils and see how it goes. Now I only have this smaller pad of Cotty, but it's okay, it's okay. I'm just gonna do kind of a, an abbreviated version, a little sunflower. I am really excited to see how this goes. Now I did decide to spray the paper down. I did that a little bit earlier in the experiment with New York Central and it really did juice things up. Getting in with the sketching and friends, this felt so good. I could feel the butteriness. I could feel how it was gliding differently. At this point, I was super, super hopeful. I gotta know, friends, at this point, do you think Cotty is gonna give that much of a different result? Do you think that this juicy, loving, watercolor, expressive gal is gonna feel satisfied with this result? Let me know in comments. If you remember earlier on, it was said on the St. Louis Art Supply website that pressing hard was really gonna release a lot of the pigment in these pencils and allow you to get those juicy washes. And that is really working well on this paper. This is a cotton rag paper. It has a really kind of specific, lofty, kind of cottony texture. If you wanna know more about all the different types of 100% cotton paper, how they're made and which ones I really love for different applications, you're gonna wanna watch the video that I'm gonna link below. In general, it's super soft, the paper that is, and it's allowing the softness of these pencils, the high pigmentation of these pencils to really shine. I'm able to go into damp areas and just see the pigment melt like butter when I add some darker greens, love it. Now let's see how it handles a background. I did a lot of that in the previous two experiments. And so laying down this buttery, buttery feeling pigment is promising and then wetting it, boom, shock the lock of friends, it's a working. I'm so excited. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'll calm down now. Cotty for the win, ding, 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 friends. She's the winner. She's giving us that juicy vibe. She's letting the color flow, you know, wet her down first, cause that's really important. Get that paper nice and evenly damp. You are gonna love this. That is if you've previously hated watercolor pencils like me. I also once hated colored pencils, but my friend Sarah Renee Clark helped change my mind. And if you wanna see how, you're gonna wanna watch this video next. Happy watercolor pencil paint, friends.